What's going on guys? Welcome back to your 44th XHTML and CSS tutorial. Your 44th tutorial. That is a lot of tutorials. I bet if you took all these videos and strung them together, then you can make a full length movie. But then again, who the heck would want to watch a movie about this? I wouldn't even watch a movie about this. But anyways, in this tutorial, we're going to be covering two different types of input fields. The first one is the password, and the second one is the file field. And that's how you upload files. For example, if you want to make a website like Facebook or something, and you wanted users to be able to upload files of pictures of them getting wasted and then uh, you know doing illegal things that their bosses shouldn't see, this is what you would do. So let's first of all learn how to do the password field so go ahead and type password right like that and now of course we need the same input tag as before and go ahead and end it right now but instead of text or uh, you know text area for type we're gonna go ahead and put password in there and whenever we do that and whenever this field appears on our screen it's a little different than text but it has all the same attributes it's the same in the sense that you can use you know size max length just like you could do text but it's different in that whenever you type in it it either gives you little bullets or little asterisks that cover up what you're really typing that way whenever you're logging on to YouTube at school and you should be working the students behind you can't see what your password is so anyways the type is password and the name again that's what is going to come in handy whenever we're programming this data uh, with JavaScript or PHP but just put like P word that looks good enough so let's go ahead and actually save this right now and see what it looks like you see it looks a lot like the text area at first but whenever we start typing in it we get all those bullet point asterisks pretty cool so again like I mentioned before we can also have the size and max length to this so if you ever decide that you want to change it up a bit or you want to restrict them from entering a password that's like 80 characters long you can use that max length so anyways now that we know how to do the password just go ahead and actually add a paragraph right here and just uh, put something like now submit a file because we're going to be working with a file input next and we want to give them a little input of what to do so go ahead and add a paragraph just give us some spacing and now we are ready to begin so crack your knuckles and check it out so the tag for this is of course input who would have guessed and the type is actually file now it only has one other attribute and it's required and it's actually the name this way if you have more than one file upload sections whenever you're working with it programming it your program can differentiate between which file is which so just go ahead and name this Bucky's file it doesn't really matter because we're not going to be working with this attribute for now the main thing you have to concentrate is make sure that the type is file now let's go ahead and save this and see what happens whenever we refresh our page it gives us a little button and whenever we click that button it opens up our Windows Explorer or whatever heck this thing is called and it allows us to choose a file so we can choose a file by either double clicking it or just hit open and then we don't have a submit button yet because I didn't teach you guys about that but whenever we do and they hit submit it allows us or excuse me it allows them rather to upload their file to the web server so that way they can transfer their pictures onto the web or you know maybe if you have to submit homework for a class and the teacher might include this in their web page something like that but anyways that's basically all there is to cover with file uploads again I said that those are the only two attributes because you don't really have a size attribute because that doesn't really make sense you don't have a max length because that doesn't really make sense the only thing that you might be wondering is alright I don't want them uploading a file that's like a thousand gigabytes big so if you want to restrict this you can't do this using strictly XHTML you need to do this whenever you learn um, JavaScript PHP all those other scripting languages that you guys might know but you probably don't know yet so um, you're gonna have to stick with my other tutorials if you want to learn how to do that but for now this is all you have to remember and don't forget you can't use size or max length and also if you want to upload multiple files you can't click this button once right here and you can't choose a bunch of files if you want to upload multiple files you have to give them multiple buttons it's a little different than a regular program but that's what XHTML did so who's ever making XHTML blame them they made the rules not me so anyways that's all I have for you guys for this lesson. Um, 
I'm going to go check the score of the basketball game, and in the next video, I'll let you guys know who won. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next video.